Hey, it's Trickton with Trickton's Gaming, back again with another epic guide for you on how to unlock Isabel as your trusty companion in Elder Scrolls Online. If you want to see things like gear and skills, I've put the timestamps down in the description. Now let's get into it. Unlocking Isabel isn't as straightforward as most quests, as you have three parts that can be done in any order, but I've got you covered. To kick things off, you'll need to embark on the thrilling Torment of the Heart quest. It's the key to unlocking Isabel as a companion. To start this quest, head over to Castle Nair Voice Shrine and talk with Lord Ramard de Fury and Lady Henretta Arthi. After talking with the nobles, follow the quest marker to talk with Isabel Volis herself. She'll explain the situation, explain that you need to complete a few trials to win the Sapphire Tourney. Now, when selecting the trials to do first, be sure to select the Iron Knot first, as this will follow the rest of the video. Really quick, if this video has been slightly helpful so far, hit that like button. It would really help me to put out more content like this. All right, now about the order of the Iron Knot. This sends you on a quest to retrieve the hilt of the legendary Red Heart Sword from the Dewforts. Before finding the hilt of the Red Heart, head to the library where you'll find information about the sword's whereabouts. After finding the book on the furthest corner of the library, speak with Isabel and she will tell you about the Dewforts to the east. Once you get to the field, you'll find another aspirant is also after the sword, with Isabel's former second alongside him. The path to the grove is blocked by large fallen down trees, but Isabel knows a way around the obstruction. Follow your map to the grove, and then look for the marker pointing you to the hilt of Redheart. After that, talk to Isabel and figure out your next steps. At this point, it's important to select the Oaken Order, as again, this will follow the rest of the video. To find the symbol of the Oaken Order, head to the Coral Road Way Shrine and follow your map to the Mage's Cabin. Once you get to the cabin, you'll spot a barrier with three pillars. Inspect the pillars and Isabel will deduce exactly how to bring down the barrier from an old story the Mage told her as a child. She will task you with finding the Cat's Paw, a Spriggan's Veil, and a Heroine's Feather. All of these items will be nearby, so follow your map and collect all of them. Place them on the corresponding pillar and the barrier will drop. Once the barrier drops, head into the mage's hut and he'll tell you to take his staff as a token of the Oaken Order, and heavily imply that he lifted the challenge from the story knowing Isabel would figure it out. Once you have the staff, speak to Isabel. Last but not least, we have the Oaken Order of the Albatross that you can find on your map. To find the gilded loot of Captain Renvel, you'll first need to find a key to the castle Nereve's crypt. Follow your map until you find Aurelia, who will point you to Dame Hendra. Throw her a quick bribe for a key to the crypts and then head inside. There will be a few enemies around, but the path is mostly straightforward. You'll stumble on Aspirant Mortens hiding from spiders and he will give you the key to unlock another passage deeper into the crypt. However, you need to find him his sword. Continue following your map to the sword. Along the way, you will have a few spiders that you will need to take care of, but they don't pose much of a challenge. Deliver the sword back to Morton's, then use the key to unlock another passage which will lead you on to another part of the crypt. Kill the ghost that's been haunting the area, and then look behind it to find the loot. Once you have the loot, head outside and talk with Isabel. Once you've impressed all three Sapphire Orders and snagged their tokens, it's time for the grand finale. Find Isabel to present the tokens in a ceremony. Once the ceremony ends, talk with the Knight Commander Yorval in her office. And there you have it. That's how you unlock Isabel in Elder Scrolls Online. Now let's talk skills and gear. When it comes to skills, I like Isabel to be set up as an AoE damage dealer with skills like Penetrating Strikes, Sunder, and Holy Ground. So she wears heavy on her chest and legs, and then she wears medium or light on the smaller pieces, with aggressive or quickened traits. If you want to know more about the rapport system for Isabel, as well as how it works and how to customize her, check out my companion guide here. Thanks for watching guys, and until next time, happy adventuring.